Brandy Davison here. I am a design team member with the Scrapshots um, design team. Scrapshots is an online scrapbooking store out of based out of Calgary, Alberta, and I have the pleasure of receiving receiving goodies from them each month. Sometimes the monthly kit subscription, sometimes other goodies to play with and showcase what they have in the store. This month, well, actually October, I received the um, October kit, which was full of the Cartabella Home Again. Um, collection, the paper, the stickers, the chipboard, I got all kinds of good stuff including some of the add-on items and some really cool wood veneers that were um, added to the collection by Sandy um, from Jen Hatfield that matched just perfectly. So just a really an amazing collection and I have been hanging on to some black and white photos that I have of my my father in his kind of childhood years as well as of his parents. They're all black and white and they're very cool to sort of do a heritage album but I hadn't found anything that inspired me yet and this Cartabella collection absolutely did that. Um, I was super excited to receive it um, and think it's um, going to be kind of the perfect touch for sort of a heritage album but a little bit of a newer version of it not just all black and white with like the photo corners kind of thing. So I thought what I would do today is just flip you through how far I've gotten in the album so far with what I received in the kit. I still have lots of goodies left to keep playing but I thought it would be a good time to show you. So I have this Snap album. This is a Simple Story 6x8 that I got also oh, well, from Scrapshots. I ordered this from her. Um, that matched quite nicely with the blues of the collection. And I've just decorated the album cover here. And I will put something in there eventually. It's always the last place I put something. And I'll just do a quick flip through for you. I'm hoping it is not too shiny. Um, I do have my studio lights on, which are pretty good for glare. So let's we'll see. This is just my cover page here. I have featured this one. Um, on my Instagram and such and it's just squares that I've then stitched over to sort of make it look like a quilt. Um, my Auntie Karen as well as my grandma were both big sewers in the family so I thought that was kind of a neat thing to bring in. This is about the extent of my sewing skills. Theirs were much better. They actually could make quilts but anyway this is my start. So that is my cover page, Strachan, our family. Um, included in the kit were all these awesome six by four by six cut aparts that look like um, kind of the letter boards. So I made use of them throughout because this just like it was just so cool and just added some ephemera. And I did a mix of things inside the pocket and outside the pocket to give some texture. So a lot of these are my grandparents when they were much younger um, and before I was even thought of, my grandpa in his younger days. And I did find with the trucks in the collection and the black and white, the gingham as well as some of the plaid that there was some opportunity to, to also scrapbook some of the more masculine photos. Um, but some of these, like, isn't that just an amazing photo? Hopefully you can see that there's not too much glare. And then this one is just one of the piece, pieces of paper in the album that I've just decorated a little bit. It'll pop up here, and then this is what I was saying, those awesome wood veneers. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, that went really well. And then in this case, the picture's on the outside. There's no cover on this one. And this is all things out of the, um, the kit. And a couple of pieces, I've pulled in some Tim Holtz phrase stickers, and I'll point those out for you. I used really um, only the enamel dots I received or the tiny attachers from Tim Holtz to augment some of this. There's some more black and white. We made a lot of use of the fabulous washi tape that comes with it. And this one's a good one. So this is a mix of this. This one's on the outside and these two are on the inside. Again, just making sure there's some texture there. These little tags are actually on the photo as it was scanned, written by my grandma. So this is looks like 83. And guess what? There's a flat tire there. And I ended up actually buying this car from my grandpa for $500 after high school. So hilarious. And that they're in an avalanche area makes me laugh as well. So that's probably why my grandma took it. She's got that kind of humor. I did add a few flip flaps or the flip photo flips or whatever you want to call them from Simple Stories. So just decorated that up there and I will do some journaling there. This is one of my favorite pictures of my grandma. I don't know whose head that is because all of us little cousins had like blonde messy hair. It might be me. It's probably my cousin Duncan or Ian but we'll see. I'll write it as if it's me. And this one again is one without the page protector. This is just one of the pieces of paper that come with the actual snap album itself that matched really well with the kit. So I kept a few in there. Again, this is one of those four by six cut aparts with some tiny attachers. This is another one um, where I just embellished some of the, the cut aparts that actually came with the kit. Uh, my grandma and grandpa's house that I knew anyway as a child, which is just love that. And in the snow, it's Alberta, so that's fitting. Um, and then here's some, as I was saying, the only thing I really brought in from my stash was um, white paper to back the photos, as well as some Tim Holtz phrases. Otherwise, everything came with the kit itself. Um, and then, oh sorry, the tiny attachers as well. 
This one is actually, you'll see these are the circles I've added. This is actually based on the Creative Scrapbooker Magazine October sketch. We try and do that every month at Scrap Shots and this is what I created in the 6x8 format and added a few um, sequins from a Spiegel Mom Scraps um, sequin mix that I had that matched really nicely. So it's in the pocket. This one is another one out of the pocket with on the snap pages that are provided. And I thought these little marketplace were kind of masculine and that's my grandpa there and I just love that photo. And then some other little black and whites. Just tried to mix it up a bit. This is probably the most classic of my grandparents making a turkey when we were over there. And used the washi tape, some ripping, and really played on the tags. There's quite a few of these banners or pendants that come in the collection, the different tip board and the ephemera. So I started making my own as well to kind of match them because they kind of gave it a cool look, I thought. Another one of those trucks. This is the sticker version. I had the chipboard in there before, but this one I popped up on foam. So, and this piece back here behind it is actually from the packaging, the Cartabella packaging that I just used because it had a strip of each of the papers and I just loved it. So why let anything go to waste? Some more here. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna journal on some of these or not. I've gotta kinda of figure that out. I've left a few spots. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, not sure. I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna keep working at this one. And I just like that paper too much to cover. And then here's this a little baby pocket. And I just like some of these sayings that came in that the die cuts were just too good to just cover up or use the edge of. I just wanted to really draw them out. So my grandparents wedding day. Love that. Some of these photos I really had to play with to try and fix. This one's kind of overlaid with another one, but I don't care. It's going in. I love it. I only have this many. So it's happening. And then here's a Christmas tree. Some of those ornaments my grandma still had on the tree, which I just love. Oh, I did add some of the twine from my collection, uh, my stash as well, just a few pieces. I thought the gray and white looked good with that. And then this one, and there's a flap pocket you can see there, quite cute. And then just another one of those four by six cut aparts, just um, embellished a little bit with stuff from the kit. That is where I've gotten to so far. I still have a pile of goodies left from this collection and I still have a number of black and white photos. This is gonna be one of those projects that sits with the collection bits from the kit, as well as those black and white photos in this album on the corner of my scrapbook desk. And when I don't have much time or I'm kind of not feeling super creative, they, everything matches so well and it's so easy to scrapbook with black and whites and in this small format that that's gonna be my go-to kind of easy project when I don't have a couple hours to sit down because I've just found I've been able to just knock off these pages so quickly and it's just been so much fun because like it's black and white they match everything and the color scheme of the kit is just oh, it's absolutely fabulous so that is me that is my flip through of the October kit Cartabella home again um, is the, the foundation of the October kit from scrap shots still product left on the store I'll be sure to leave links below um, and now I'm gonna start um, playing with my November kit here so watch our blog as well as our Instagram for lots of fun stuff this month from myself as well as the other design team members. Have a wonderful November.